Welcome to Sim UK. Today I will be unboxing and sharing my thoughts whilst confirming the technical information for ID Cooling's recently released budget all-in-one CPU liquid cooling solution, the Frostflow 120. A few weeks back I reviewed the larger twin fan 240L series which is currently running in this PC, so I already expect an excellent build quality, but I am very interested to compare the performance as the 120 has half the radiator size and half the amount of fans. So let's go and unbox. In reality, that is pretty much where the differences end. The packaging for both is very similar in terms of design, and both boxes have detailed technical information printed around the box. Inside, the components are well protected thanks to the cardboard housing and polystyrene protective covers. All components are wrapped in individual plastic bags to avoid scratches, and that is not where the similarities end either. Let's begin with the fan. Whilst the Frostflow 120 has only one single fan, it is the exact same high static pressure PWM 120mm fan that was included with the 240L series. It still produces a max airflow of 84.5 cubic feet per minute and a noise level between 20 and 38.3 decibels. But with half the number of fans, does that mean half the amount of noise and half the amount of performance? I'll be testing this device very soon and I will share those results with you then. The only other noticeable difference between the fans is that the fins on this version for the 120 are transparent. Both series use the same multi-platform mounting kit. Having used these same components on the 240L series, I can certainly vouch for their build quality. The thermal paste included with the set also appears to be of a decent quality. I have not had any problems at all since installation, but to be fair, it has only been a couple of weeks. Although both versions do use the same identical pump, there are a few noticeable differences with the pump and the radiator combo. The pipes on the 120 series are far more flexible than they are on the 240L. The durability and the thickness appears to be very similar, so I think this is actually an improvement over the 240L series, which was rather too solid and far less malleable. Additionally, it does not have the tail chasing LED lights. For some this will be a negative aspect, but for me this is actually another bonus, but then I'm not that much into flashy lights in my system. And of course, the radiator is half the size of the 240L version. Will that affect performance? I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, to sum it up, this has half the radiator, half the fans, it's half the price. So does that mean that it's half the performance? I'm going to put my money on no. I think this little device is going to cope very well in my tests because, like its bigger brother, the majority of the important stuff is in the pump, and that remains the same. With the exact same microfin, pure copper base and fluent water flow, I already know that heat will be wicked away from the CPU quickly. The only question is whether the single 120mm fan and radiator combo will be able to cope with maximum load for hours at a time. Based on my previous experience with ID Cooling's products to date, I think the chances are very good, and if I am proven right, then this is going to be an absolute bargain for those of us interested in an all-in-one liquid cooling system. The all-in-one 240L series costs approximately 75 to 100 pounds, and the 120 series is approximately half that price. I've seen it as cheap as 35 pounds and as expensive as 55 pounds. I think you'll agree that if the performance results are good, then that is a cracking price. My name's Mike, this is Sim UK. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Goodbye for now. <laughs>